Hello everyone, Angie Thompson with Living in America. Welcome back to 25 Days of Christmas Around the World. We're really getting close now and I have an <laughs> extra fun guest. Um, my friend Maxine Serrano of the Inbox Chick is here today and she brought along this beautiful woman that we see with us, Esther Rucci, her mother. So we're here today. <laughs> we're going to talk about Puerto Rico. But first, Maxine, tell me a little bit about you and the Inbox Chick. Awesome. Thank you so much, Angie, for this opportunity. Uh, my name is Maxine Serrano, and I am the owner of the Inbox Chick. We provide virtual assistance for small business owners, helping them get out of their email inbox and out meeting new clients, helping to take care of some of those micro tasks. Um, just started my business this year. It's a baby business. We've been in business probably about nine months now. And um, through networking and getting to meet people like Angie, it's been amazing that I've been able to get clients and grow my business. So I appreciate this. Oh, I appreciate you both being here today. And your mom is my favorite guest. I'm sorry to say that to everybody else, but she really is. I mean, she, look at her. She's lit up. When she came on, she said, hold on, I need to turn my lights on. I said, oh my goodness, okay. <laughs> She's my favorite. <laughs> well, Maxine, tell us all about Christmas. I, I just can't wait to get into it, guys. <laughs> so, so I didn't grow up in Puerto Rico, but my heritage, my grandparents are from Puerto Rico. And so um, our grandparents definitely brought in some of the traditions into our family. And so we learned a lot of the different traditions that they do. And so um, Christmas time in Puerto Rico, they also do lights like here in the US. And, um, but we do have, some different foods and traditions that we do. Um, so usually around Christmas time or uh, leading up to Christmas, we will make something that's called um, pasteles. And it's kind of different vegetables, root vegetables that they grind up and add, you know, different spices and things like that. And they make it into like a little pouch. And it usually has either chicken or meat. Um, and you boil them and it's a huge long process. And I remember with my grandmother, all of us being in her kitchen and we'd set up a, a line and just prepare everything. And then you would have these at Christmas time and, and they were delicious and they were a hot commodity. Like when we found out that other people were making them or who had them, like they're just, they're really good. They're delicious. Um, similar to tamales that in Mexico they have, but it's just totally different. Like, you know, it's in a little pouch, but it's very different. Um, another tradition that we also have during Christmas is coquito, which my mother has in her hand. <laughs> and it's um, kind of like an eggnog, but it has uh, a lot of coconut in it. And it also has Puerto Rican rum. And I like to put a little bit of ginger in it, but it, it's so delicious. My mom makes it. It's really good. Um, and it's a, a it's like, kind of like a sweet uh, dessert, you know, but it's a, it's, it's a drink. It's an alcohol, but it's so delicious. Well, you guys um, are definitely going to have to teach me how to make that one. That yeah, we'll definitely amazing. share I'll share the recipe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so yummy. Um, I'm trying to think of some other things. Um, another big uh, dish that we usually have on in Christmas is arroz. Um, oh my God, mom. Arroz con gandule. Arroz con gandule. <laughs> the gandule is actually caught in English, pigeon peas, believe it or pigeon not, but it's, it doesn't come from pigeons, okay? okay good. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a yellow rice and it has these little pigeon peas um, and there's a lot of seasoning that goes in it. And our food, Puerto Rican food is not spicy. Puerto Rican food is very, um, Tasty. it has spices, it has good flavor. Yeah, it has a lot of ingredients, garlic and things like that. And there's another ingredient that we use when we make this type of rice, it's called sofrito. And it's a special ingredient that you make and you can put in your rice, you can put in your stews and your beef. It's, it's, it just gives everything a really good flavor and it's made fresh, homemade. My grandma used to make it. My mom knows how to make it really good. I, I learned how to make it, but I don't make it. Um, so those are some of the foods that we'll eat. I'm trying to think. And then uh, like a dessert. Um, would you agree with me, mom? We have the ajo dulce, right? Yes. So it's like, uh, it's kind of like a rice pudding, but it's not very watery. It's more dense and it has raisins in it. Coconut. It has ginger, cinnamon, um, and they put cinnamon on top. Coconut, what else? Coconut. And coconut. Yes. 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 And coconut. coconut. A lot of coconut. And it's delicious, but it, it is more dense. It's not watery like uh, like rice pudding, but it's so delicious. The, so those are some of the dishes. The coconut is actually coconut milk and coconut cream that you get in a can. And it's oh. very sweet. It's not where you grind coconut or anything like that. It's the cream and the milk that you can get in the store. Yeah, it's delicious. So oh. yummy. <laughs> so those are some of some of our many dishes that we we eat during Christmas time. 
Well, it sounds wonderful. I really want to visit you during Christmas now. <laughs> <laughs> so yummy. And we had an adorable little song that we turned on. Is that part of something that you do every Christmas? The little, the little donkey guy? So um, that, that song, my mom could share a little bit about how that comes about. Okay. Well, that's, that's a very old song. Um, for Christmas, I have a, a, a CD that's very old songs that my father, that I remember him playing. And this is one that my mom used to sing. And then the part that she goes, um, tuki, 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 she would, and that's what I remember of her, because that was her favorite part. Oh, but um, for um, what they call Carolyn here, we call it Ban, how is it? Ban 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 So we will go house to house, the same thing, but it's usually a pretty big group with whatever you know costume you had um whatever instruments you had guitars this this is homemade my father made this Aww. and it sounds like this Me and they will go house to house and you would start when the sun went down and since it's warm in puerto rico i had the opportunity to go Bajandiando with my father and one time, this is a very long time ago, and um, we did that, we went house to house. Um, my uncles were there, his brother with the guitar. And when you go into the, when you sing your songs, once you finish, they invite you to go in. Once you go in, you, you have to eat and you have to drink. Drink, <laughs> a lot of alcohol. <laughs> you drink so much and eat so much. Because in Puerto Rico for Christmas, they also do the, the whole pig roast it and, and what they call um, pending. And, and they have that with the rice and the coconut drink and, and, and the music. And you just go house to house and you it's just so much fun. And since it's warm outside, I mean, you can go all night. I, I remember going all night and by the time we got home, it was daytime. <laughs> oh my gosh, this is that crazy. I went with my father and his brothers and some other people. I can't remember who else was there because it was such a long time ago, but I do remember us doing that, you know, and it was so much fun. And it's a memory that all I will always keep for Christmas and the uh, old songs that my father used to, um, you know, play. And they also had a, another thing they would do when they were going, um, it's almost like they would say something and then at the end they would say bomba, which means bomb. And it's almost like a joke. And then at the end they would go bomb. <laughs> and it was just funny things that they would say. And it was just a fun, fun, fun night that um, people would have. Oh, that is really, <laughs> really cool. Oh my gosh, you guys are so fun. I know in Colombia, they were saying the same thing that they party all night long, like he says. And then, and then after you think you're done, you go to the beach and you party till the sun comes up. I said, Oh, oh nice. <laughs> Americans, we're just not doing it right. We need to spend more time with more co co Is that yeah. what it is? Yeah, we need to go. Yeah. And then there was someone from Barbados. She was yesterday, I think. And they were the same way. She said, If it has rum, it's Christmas. <laughs> said, okay. Yeah. That rum pudding. Yeah. I want to try it. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. That was wonderful. Thank you guys so much for being here with me and for sharing these traditions. And Esther, you have just made my day with your light up <laughs> hat and your light up shirt and your, and your little donkey singing songs. I just, you just, <laughs> <laughs> oh, wonderful. And uh, hearing those memories, I know it's difficult when we lose people close to us and these, the holidays is when we're always close together. So it's awesome to just remember the happy things and those, the singing and the yeah. dancing and all of that. So thank you for sharing that with me. Did you guys have anything else that you want to add that we might've forgotten? I mean, you told me so much. <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, the holidays are just oh. special and it, it is, it's all about family. Um, same thing, you know, that in, in your other interviews, um, it is, it's just about the families getting together, having a good time and being able to, you know, remember our traditions and remember where we came from. Both me and my, my mom grew up here in the States. Um, but, you know, um, our grandparents gave, my grandparents, her parents gave us those traditions that, you know, I pray that we continue to carry on, you know, with our children because they're special. 
I love it. I really do. And I, I love too just having learned so many different things from this. I love teaching my nieces and nephews how something new and fun that we can do for Christmas too. You know, like I can tell you right now, your drink is getting to be part of our Christmas for sure. <laughs> <laughs> so You're going to make you. it. Angie. I'm going to make it. I am that's <laughs> for sure. And thank you guys so much for being with me, for sharing everything. And I wish you both a Merry, Merry Christmas. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Yes, Feliz Navidad. Thank you. And Happy New Year, too. Thank you, Angie. Thanks. Bye.